I went the last 40 days without eating any sugar and it was absolute torture. Or so I thought it would be. This meal is 110 grams of sugar. That's how much sugar a healthy person consumes in a week. And that's just my Sunday breakfast. One waffle, four tablespoons of Nutella, six crushed Oreos, syrup, and on top of that, whipped cream for a whopping total of 1,015 calories, 59 grams of fat, and 110 grams of sugar. I told myself that I could eat this way on the weekends as long as I eat really healthy during the week. But I was really just coping because I could just never shave off that extra belly fat that I was holding. On top of that, anytime I had like ice cream or cake, I just felt super bloated and tired. Obviously, we know how bad sugar is for you. It can cause diabetes, liver damage, and it could give you a heart attack. But I'm not thinking about that, shit, bro. I'm just trying to look good and feel good. So Lent was just around the corner, a Christian season where one of the objectives is to give up something for 40 days. So I gave up sugar for the last 40 days, and I'm not exaggerating when I'm telling you that this was truly life-changing. Okay, so week one was probably the hardest of them all. Usually I'm fine during the week, but as soon as the weekend rolled around, that's usually when I eat a ton of dessert. And it was really hard not eating any at all, especially because my girlfriend, I just see her eating dessert. I see my mom eating dessert. I see them eating ice cream and cake. And usually I'm in there with them eating that stuff. And it's just so hard to not even take a bite. But in the end, I was able to pull through. And honestly, I didn't notice very many results week one. I didn't notice feeling that much better, but I just kept going. All right, so then week two came along. And honestly, it was probably just as hard as week one. And this time I had really bad cravings during the week as well as the weekend because I didn't eat any dessert the weekend before. Honestly, though, I did feel a lot lighter. I was performing better in my boxing practice. I was performing better in weightlifting. And so, yeah, eventually the weekend did roll by and it was complete torture again and i'm not gonna lie i did cheat a little bit please don't kill me but we went to a carnival and i did have a small bite of my girlfriend's funnel cake and it wasn't even that good bro but anyways i decided to you know let it slide and i kept going with the challenge week three came along and honestly at this point it got way easier because now i finally had a routine of what i was eating i knew what time to eat and what exactly i would be eating every day so pretty much my mornings went like i'd eat three eggs and some yogurt and then for lunch i'd have like chicken and vegetables and dinner would probably be like some meat with some vegetables as well i found that because i knew exactly what i was eating and what time i was eating it was way easier not to cheat and because i had less decisions to make i conserved brain power and didn't need to use my willpower in order to keep myself from eating dessert i guess you could say okay so the last two weeks were the easiest of them all i was able to say no to any time anyone offered me dessert no no God. i had no cravings at all throughout the entire weeks like i literally did not think of dessert or sugar at all i even went to a birthday dinner for my mom it was like the most amazing ice cream ever that everyone was sharing some gelato right and it was so good and i was asked like literally 50 times if i wanted it and somehow i was able to say no i'm not gonna lie though i did think about trying it for a second but overall throughout the course of those weeks and now i found that i felt way less heavy and lethargic i performed better in any Anything athletic that I wanted to do, whether that was boxing, whether that was running, whether that was working out, even in my workflow, I was way more productive. I felt like locked in. I guess that sugar really just takes a toll on your mind and makes you feel tired, especially like when I'm reading or something, I literally start falling asleep. Like in, in the middle of the day, I'll just fall asleep because of that sugar making me feel heavy and making me want to just lay in bed. I don't have any more sugar cravings. Like literally, I don't think about dessert and I still do eat it sometimes. So you might be asking, Asking, how did I do it? Well, first of all, it's pretty much impossible to completely cut out all sugar because these companies nowadays put sugar in everything. It's the cheapest ingredient that these companies can use in their food to make it taste good. And on top of that, it's super addicting and makes you want more. Even the healthy foods have a lot of sugar in them. If the companies actually cared about making you healthy, they wouldn't put this much sugar in it. But they know that at the end of the day, all they care about is profit. So next time you're in the grocery store, I want you to pick up a product that says reduced fat on on it and then pick up the regular version of that product probably thinking oh well it's reduced fat so it's probably better for you right no so the reduced fat version if you look at the back actually has more sugar than the regular version and the reason they do this is because since they take out the fat normally that food would taste terrible but because they add a ton of sugar to it it's somehow still possible to eat it 
number one is take away the dessert from yourself so basically don't have it in your eyes you don't want any temptations visible to you so take out anything in your pantry if you can or anything out on the table tell your family friends to not offer you any dessert and that you're trying to not eat dessert as much as possible all right and number two is basically to find out the cues of when you eat dessert james clear talks about this in his book atomic habits you usually get a trigger of when you want the dessert when you're doing something else so for me that was video games whenever i played video games it made me want to binge eat like brownies and oreos like that's one of my favorite desserts i didn't realize till after i stopped playing how much i ate because i was focused on something else you usually have something that triggers you to eat that dessert so try to find a way to remove that trigger if possible and number three this ties it all up and it's the most important tip of all of them and it's mindfulness mindfulness is basically the skill of being present and aware of the moment best way to improve your mindfulness is meditation i'm actually going to make a video to teach you how to do it if you don't know already but yeah meditation is key i'm telling you when i ate that piece of funnel cake i was not mindful at all when i'm on my phone or playing video games while eating dessert i'm not mindful at all so basically you do not realize when you're eating something because you're distracted with something else if possible literally try eating food without any stimulation at all don't watch tv don't watch a show don't scroll on your phone while eating literally just eat and stare at the food and you will be so much more mindful actually chew the food and you'll enjoy it way more and you'll actually realize when you're full if you apply these three steps you can honestly break any bad habit but it especially works for sugar i'm telling you bro i mean you will not regret it i've had the best results ever by not eating sugar on top of that it cleared my face it made me more productive i feel lighter i like lost five pounds you get the point i will be making more videos on how to self-improve whether that's meditation mindfulness addiction breaking bad habits i got you and if you like reading about self-improvement sign up to my email list it's in the description